Inauguration for Jay Gu Lee, a newly appointed chairman of Daegu Kanopolis, was held at the conference hall located at the second floor of the Daegu Kanopolis building on 1st of November. During his inaugural address, Chairman Jay Gu Lee spoke of his aspiration and said, We have strengthened many areas, including research capacity and infrastructure. I will devote myself to create national new growth engine and make Daegu Kanopolis a world-leading, first-class innovation cluster. After working in Fair Trade Commission and Ministry of Planning and Budget, Chairman Jay Gu Lee has successfully filled the role of Secretary General and Ministry of Strategy and Finance. He also served in professional areas in science technology and industrial policy, such as science technology's part for the sixth, fifth year development plan, venture capital invigorating plan, and new growth energy discovery. On October 9th and 10th, National Science Museum hosted a Science Day for all families to enjoy, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Daedalkanopolis. At Science Day, visitors experienced each research labs in Daedalkanopolis at exhibition spaces, and National Science Museum research lab and science education experience booths were also exhibited. And various performances were available for viewing, including Nanta by Chungmyung Theatrical Group, cheerleading performance by Keist's Cheerleader Club Elka, a science musical by theatrical group Gumdale, and a science magic show. <laughs> D&T Incorporated, a company located in Daydoc, Annapolis, that develops and manufactures specialized monitors for medical broadcasting industrial fields, was included in the 10 attractive small businesses in 2010, selected by the Korea Laborer Foundation. The attractive small business certification was first named in 2008, selecting small businesses with better wages, good work atmosphere, and an outstanding welfare system to improve the image and value of the small businesses and provide quality job opportunities. D&T was highly regarded for never advising or forcing to resign and converting all part-timers to full-time employees in 2009. 저희 D&T는 최고 인류 제품을 만들기 위해서 10년 후에 삼성보다 더큰 회사를 만들 수 있도록 노력하겠습니다. 이 D&T의 장점은 어, 직원들이라고 생각합니다. 어, 직원들 모두 모두 하나가 어, 맡은 바 최선을 다하는 게 D&T의 가장 큰 장점인 것 같습니다. The 23rd IAEA Fusion Energy Conference was successfully held at Daydoc. The conference went on for a week from October 11th with over 1,500 fusion energy experts from 39 countries all over the globe. A total of 596 theses was presented as fusion energy scholars gathered at Daydoc to exchange research outcomes and current trend from all countries, two years after the 2008 Geneva Fusion Energy Conference. With construction and operation of K-Star, a world-class superconductive nuclear fusion device developed by Pure Domestic Technology our country has showcased its ability in nuclear fusion research. Dato Kanopolis, along with the Yusung District Office and Companies Research Directors Committee, held four sessions of Large Business Research Center Visiting Program to enhance the research center's cooperation, exchange, and communication with near institutions. Dalem Industry Dato Research Lab, Egg Young Technology Complex, Hankook Tire Central Research Lab, and LG Chemical Technology Research Lab opened their facilities to the public and allowed community residents to visit the experiment labs and manufacture sites. Approximately 40 people from each research lab, a total of 160 people participated in the program. The Daydoc Annapolis planned to hold the Daydoc Annapolis Visiting Program next year, expanding this year's program according to the feedbacks and surveys from visitors. On October 23rd, the Korean Institute of Machinery and Materials hosted for the second time the annual Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials Future Scientist Machine Making Competition. The competition is an event for elementary students from all over the nation proposed to help youngsters develop interest in mechanical science field and improve creative thinking. Participating students must make machinery that fit the description that's given each time. Parents of the participating students expressed their satisfaction, noting that it will be very beneficial for the students to actually dismantle and assemble machines by themselves. 
On November 5th, the Korea Institute of Energy Research held a model solar car racing competition in its premises. This event was held to help teenagers understand solar power generation that has given attention for its green technology and to develop creativity. The participants must reach the 15 meter mark with a model car that is run by electricity generated from solar energy to win the race. Over 150 participants from 40 teams that passed pre-evaluation competed in this year's 10th annual racing contest. The Korea Institute of Energy Research event coordinator mentioned that the participants' competence improve every year. Daydoknet, a science and industry press, held the second Daydok Science Technology Sarangban sponsored by the Korean Institute of Science and Technology Information on the 26th of October. Science Technology Sarangbang invites researchers from Daydok and Opolis that made outstanding results in a chosen field. Researchers from national research institutes, university professors, and businessmen participate in exchange in-depth information on issues such as applying a new technology in the market, fusion research with other fields, and technology's industrialization possibility. Related personnel from out of Daydok and Opolis, such as the Kyungin and Yongnam area, came to participate and requests from other regions to hold the exchange have been flooding.